uh, Jessica Gonzalez. Uh, I represent House District 104 in Dallas. Okay. I'm here to support uh, Representative uh, Claudia Ordaz Perez um, in her primary race. Well, this What's is actually so this is actually my first time in El Paso, uh, and I wanted a reason to come. And you know, what what other better reason uh, than to come to support my friend and my colleague? Um, when Claudia first got elected, uh, she was rep elect. Uh, she hit she wanted to hit the ground running, and so we got to know each other very well. She asked a lot of questions, and that's exactly what she did uh, when she when we started the last session, uh, because she's a leader, and she stuck with 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 Democrats uh, when we broke quorum uh, because it was an important issue. Uh, Republicans were trying to suppress our vote and uh, you know she got punished uh, for, for that, for sticking with, with Democrats um, in, in breaking quorum. Well, I mean, this voter suppression bill, I mean, right now I, I'm hearing uh, from folks on the ground here that this is the lowest turnout that El Paso has had ever. Uh, and so that's the impact that this bill, that this bill has on the people of Texas. Well, it's important to put up those fights. It, Republicans are doing this because they want to stay in power and they will do whatever it takes to stay in power. And that means trying to suppress your right to vote, right? Because if they know that when we do turn out to vote, we win. Well, I mean, we, we need real Democrats that are going to stand up for real Democratic values, not someone who's going to capitulate to the far right, which is, which is exactly what a, a lot of people do um, in the legislature. And so if you're going to send someone uh, to Austin to fight for you, then make sure that they're fighting for you and that they're not working with the other side to work against you. I mean, again, from the moment that Claudia started in the legislature, uh, I know that representing the people of El Paso was really, really important to her. Um, and she made that very, very clear. Uh, and, and, and so if you're electing her to represent the people here in El Paso, you need to have that voice in Austin. And her voice was loud um, and she got things done.